Okay, let's go talk to Monaka. Stop it. I don't feel that way about Kenji. You're always making fun of me, Lily. I'm looking for him. I hear he's been sighted at the shoe store. Mr. Navit is fast becoming the latest urban legend in IB Kukuro. Us to see. We're eager to see him. I have to get a look at him. I wonder where he is. It looks like there's something strange going on at the arcade. Let's talk, let's talk here. Lily, y you were jealous of May just now, weren't you? Go ahead and admit it, Monaka. Oh, Mr. Navit, I think he's near the cell phone store. What is this? Ask around, Ask any witnesses. Maybe it's hiding somewhere. I'll ask around and see if there are any witnesses. Did I not do that? It's long gone. Go back to the others. How did no one catch this thing? I can't believe not one of you was able to catch it. Sorry, May. It was a dead end. You're taking this too hard. Don't worry about it. We just witnessed an urban legend with our own eyes. We'll catch it next time. Don't say that. You'll just get her even more worked up. You're right. We can't give up now. One day, I will reveal Mr. Navit's true identity. Wait up, May. I guess we're done today. I've got to get to work. See ya. I let May down again. I'm going home. The guy from before, the synchronicity guy. The butterfly in your clothes. It looks like you, the Hudi butterfly I saw on the bulletin board. Are you with Hudi? Did you accept my cases? Okay, Kenji is the vice president of the Golden Dawn. My nickname must have made it difficult for you to guess it was me. The Golden Dawn was a British secret society founded in the 19th century. Even Aleister Crowley, though known as the wickedest man in the world, was briefly a member. Their teaching centered on the Kabbalah, and their hierarchy was based on Kabbalah, Kabbalah's Tree of Life. Is that Yggdrasil? I thought that was Yggdrasil. I'm sorry, Western history is a treasure trove of occult knowledge. Once I get talking about it, I just can't stop. I talked about it on, with May on the phone for more than six hours. God damn, that must have been a long conversation. I thought you were bringing Mr. Nabbit. Yeah. He was following me for some reason. Why would he follow you? Actually, seeing as I have synchronicity with you people, maybe he'll follow me as well. I have to let me know. Thanks for the info. I'll be sure to send payment. What a bizarre case. Okay, time to head back to Hudi. What the hell is that? The feeling he was being watched. Must have imagined it. Hmm. It was vague, but I definitely felt it. It was like I'd gotten a glimpse of something extraordinary. Okay, this was a creepy case. Yeah. I like that Digimon Cyber Sleuth Hacker's memory was able to retain some of that omin ominous ha ominousness. Like the feeling, the strange feelings of creepy, weird, and supernatural. Newbie hacker. Cool. That's it. Mire, what's afoot? Okay. Let's go out. Let's go talk to Mire. Kids arguing about something in Eden's community area. It sounds like a girl is driving a boy crazy with her unreasonable demands. Okay, the girl in front of the escalator on the first floor of Nakano Broadway. Don't you know her? Let me go to Eden's community area. Just because I'm on, the, I'm like right by the computer. Eden's community area. Did I skip one? But I want to go. Don't be so stubborn. You know. Okay, I'm going to stop reading this. I'll let you guys read it.
brother and sisterly fight. Okay, nothing to really do here. Probably gonna go back to Nakano. I don't even know where they went. I really don't. Let me go to the Digi Lab once more. I think that might have been the end of it. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. So I see how this is uh, scripted. Okay, so I already looked at the Eden community area, now I just need to go to Nakano Broadway. I have not done any digi battling in over Digimon battling in over twenty minutes. You know, I don't mind that the game doesn't have like segments where you need to battle. I'm I'm okay with that actually. Ooh, Yuko. <laughs> What's she staring at? The next issue of Nakano Walking is coming soon. Which restaurant takes the title of Ramen King? Ah, Ramen King. Reminds me of Shaman King. It rhymes. New restaurant profile. Unlimited dessert refills. Yuko. So I just described the pace, case, I said pace, on a, the case on a form called Hudi. Okay, let's go back. Let's go do it. Yeah, same guy. Um, that's not the guy, though, who was following the, the my character. Ugh, can't shake how creepy that was. Let's take Yuko's case. What are friends? I want to find out about friendship, but it's hard for me to look into it. Could you help me find materials? I want a ticket to Eden, the Eden upgrade preview. I'll be waiting in the community area. Let's do this one. Wait, which one's more difficult? Uh, you know what? Let's do this one. Eden community area. By searching online. A ticket. It's for an Eden upgrade preview. It's just information about past upgrades. Is there even going to be an upgrade? Maybe best to talk to the client in person. The handyman, have you brought my ticket? The preview even real? Of course it is. It's happening soon. My friend's mom works for the company that runs Eden. She told me about it from the down low. I heard that some people have got tickets already. Doesn't sound like tickets are available to the public. It might be difficult to get one. Won't be easy to get one, right? I heard that it'll look even better after the upgrade. But so I want to see it as soon as possible. I asked my big brother, but he got mad and said it's impossible to get a ticket. He called me stubborn and then stormed off. But I want to go so bad. You'll try. Thank you. I was thinking of paying you with the Digimon medal, but since you're kind, I think I'll give you something special too. Whooper from the Salamander and Friends series. It's my favorite stuffed toy. 
Oh, so cute. Aww, that's so adorable! So adorbs! Okay. How should I go about getting a ticket that's not even available to the, the public? Instead of asking Chitose and Ryuji, who are not around, let's ask Erika. She's not in her room. Let's check the cafe. She's putting something in the drinks. She's adding too much of it. A ticket for the upgrade preview. That kid's case. The payment just a medal. Making the girl smile is reward enough for me. You're a real soft touch, but the knight in shining armor thing doesn't suit you. It's none of my business, but wouldn't the ticket cost more than the medal? Going through so much trouble for a medal just doesn't seem worth it. The medal isn't the only payment. She'll g also give you a stuffed toy from a whooper from the salamander. Whooper the salamander from the salamander and friend series. That changes everything. <laughs> you absolutely must complete this case. Like what? I'm like what? You can keep the medal, but let me have the toy. It's whooper. It was only available in version one of the salamander and friend series. The Mimi Tans on my terminal are part of the same series, but I was pretty late getting into it, so I couldn't get any whooper. It was a limited edition. You can't even find it in Nakano Broadway. I've made up my mind. I'm going to help you. We've got other things to do, but this is whooper we're talking about. They can wait. We just need to find a ticket, right? Let's get started. I knew this day would come. I've even decided on a name. Decided on a name called Kagetam. I got it from the fa phrase... Kagito ergo sum. Looks like there will be an upgrade soon. Couldn't find anything about it online. He searched a few dozen sources at most, right? And only in the open space, right? You need to search thousands of sources to find the really juicy info. After all, billions of people exchange information in Eden. I found something. There's a rumor about a seller with tickets for the preview. Looks like he's an Aiki Bukuro. I still have trouble pronouncing that name. Okay. Selling tickets. Aiki Bukuro. Where do I find this person? Oh, okay, there he is. There he seems to be. That's him. The ticket seller. These clothes. Are you with Hudi? Suppose finding information like this is all in a day's work for someone like you. But those preview tickets are rare and they don't come cheap. They must be really expensive. Ask him if he's got a list of people who have brought preview tickets. Bought preview tickets from him. Information on my customers. I have... Of course I have info. Most of them are regulars. Oh, I see what you're thinking. You want to track them down? You're trying to negotiate with them for a ticket. That wouldn't be good for business. Sorry, I can't give out information on my customers. And hacking won't work either. I write everything down on paper and carry it around with me. Just to prevent hackers like you from getting at it. Good old-fashioned pen and paper is the most secure way of storing information these days. Too true! It's nothing personal, just business. Keeping paper records, he's careful. Just as he said, I was hoping we could negotiate with one of his customers. Do you think you could distract him? He had a bag near his feet. That must be where he keeps the paper with his customer information. She won't steal it. Hello. Okay, how the hell are we going to distract them? I want to say Jimmy Can. Jimmy Can! Jimmy Can? I'm a huge fan. I have to get his autograph. Run! Now's her chance. She just grabs the bag. Customer list. Done and done. It wasn't there. Was someone messing with me? It worked. She mem- Wow, yeah, she has a photographic memory. Her brain's connected to the Eden server. Once I acquire visual information, it gets converted to data. There were only a few dozen names and some contact details for each one. It wasn't hard. One of the customers is a hacker who owes my brother a favor. He's with the Dinosaurus. If you talk to him, he might let you have a ticket. Kowloon level 2. Okay, let's go. She'll wait 